This is the quantum oscillation of a copper coil. Hooked up to about 5 volts DC. That's the oscillation. That's the difference from electromagnetic radiation. And if you turn it to AC, you will see that there's AC voltage. 9.6. It's hooked up to a battery. Runs over here to a volt divider. I got it sitting under there. And that coil. No oscillation in the AC because it's not a sensitive circuit. This is how slow it is. If you notice the 89 to 90 change, it's really slow oscillation. That means that light is really wimpy in quantum resistance changes to change the actual voltage. So it requires a much tinier circuit than a thin copper motor wire to actually integrate that I would have to split it up into parts and then measure how fast it changed with uh, a parallel volt divider so this is pretty much how cell phones work they work off of the, con the light resistance change the voltage change of a tiny circuit that is a volt divider that also has very tiny transistors and things like that. And you can gather the frequency from such things. So that's the, that's the, the root mean square. It's oscillating rather slow, but it would move a lot faster at a, at a, much more sensitive voltage less than 0.89 volts so you'd have to break it up and what the oscillations were based on the radiation being on or off would tell you where they have to stage at that point the small voltage 